I feel like I want to die. Barfing up my breakfast in my mouth. I don't take control of the front. I'm more like tacking them back kind of girl. Please like and subscribe. Please pray for me because I almost died today. No, I'm just
Loser's corner. We both lost. What is heat stroke? Is that when you just get dizzy? I feel like I want to die. I played three games. I lost the first game like 14 or 15, and then I won the second game 16, I think, and then the last game I lost like six or something like that because I was so tired at the end of the second game. I was just like, bro, if I win this game, how am I gonna survive the next game? Because I was already so tired, so hot, and I was barfing up my breakfast in my mouth. TMI, but I don't know if it's because I ate too late or if I was just too hot and too exhausted. But you can see my face, it's like so hot in here. I feel like I can't really breathe in here. Even like my past two rounds, they were not that close, but I still felt like it was a little bit hard to breathe after long rallies. But I think everyone feels that way because we're not used to the heat here. I want to delete the last game from my memory because it was just so embarrassing. I literally could not. If I tried to grind long rallies, I would literally yak in my mouth. And then I would need to towel off. But then after the second game, skin on my toe started coming off. So then I had to like sit down and like put band-aids on them. And then the umpire was like, no delay this game. And I was like, Okay, I was like dying. I'll give you guys like a better update later about my match when I'm back at the hotel, but I'm just trying to cool down and like calm down right now. So, hey y'all, so I'm back in my hotel, back on my balcony. Thought I'd have a little sit down chat with you guys about my match. Oh my god, I literally feel so hot still. That car ride back, we had a police escort again, and we kept swerving, stopping, starting, stopping, and I'm so dizzy right now. I don't know if it's because I didn't eat because of the heat or because of that car ride. Let's just forget about that last game of that match, okay? I literally got like six points. That's so embarrassing, but let me tell you what happened. It all starts this morning, so basically, my match is at 11.20. Usually I like to get there like an hour early and there was an 8 o'clock bus and there is a 9.45 bus and it takes around like half an hour to an hour to get to the venue depending on traffic but if we have the police escort usually it's just half an hour. I was like okay if I need a 9.45 bus I can get there by 10.15ish, 10.20ish which is like an hour before my match so it's all good. But then, it turns out, there's too many people that wanted to take the 9.5 bus. So one bus wasn't enough, but there was only one police escort. So then we had to wait for another bus to come and then go all together. We waited another like 25 minutes. So we didn't leave the hotel until 10.05, 10.10. And then I got to the venue, 10.45. And by the time I walked in, the match before my match already started, which means like I didn't really have much time to warm up. So I went to like, talk to the referee right away. I was just stressed already from this whole situation. To begin with. There's only one warm-up court and when I went to rally there was no space. There were already six people on the court and so I warmed up on the side with no net which was also a stress factor I guess because usually I like to practice my shots a little and get a few before I step on the court so that I can like have a bit of confidence but there's none of that so that's stress number two. And then when I first got on court I hit everything out. She was leading by a lot in the first game. I caught up in the end but it was too late. I lost. I feel like after the first game I was still alright. I felt like I couldn't breathe but I think it's just the heat and I think everyone can relate to that. It wasn't just me. Second game, that's when I got really tired, really, really hot. I think I was overheating. I also didn't drink any Powerade because they were offering Powerade but I don't really like Powerade and Gatorade. The only electrolyte drink I drink is Kari Sweat and I didn't bring any so I just drank water. I felt so hot and so tired in the second game. I was leading by a lot because she kind of played the way I played in my first game. I made so many dumb mistakes, I just hit out. And at the end, I was really tired. I was really hot and my breakfast came back up in my mouth. And I just swallowed it back down multiple times. Like after every long rally, I would ask for a towel off and whenever I toweled off, it would come up. I don't know if it's because I ate my breakfast too late or maybe I ate too much or if it was too hot. It was just disgusting. I was gonna ask the umpire for a bucket so I could actually yak into the bucket but then I thought that's gross so maybe not. But I felt so not great. I couldn't focus. It was just so hot. But at the same time I was trying to remind myself she feels the same way. She's playing in the same condition. It's hot in here for both of us. I bet she's tired as well even though she didn't seem tired. And also at the end of the second game I was dying. I was tired. I was hot. I was overheating. I was yakking in my mouth. I don't think I've ever felt this way. And I was thinking to myself, bro, how? How can I survive the third game if I win this game? But then I was just like, okay, whatever. Just focus, win this game first, and then think about it later. So then I did. Third game, I could not. I was so, so out of it. There were no specific shots that I was really afraid of, but she runs. 
a lot and she's consistent. Something that worked really well, I think, was pulling her to the two opposite corners. I feel like I got her off balance a lot of times, but I still feel like she wasn't that tired or maybe she just didn't show it, but I'm proud that I was able to get the net at the top a lot and I feel like take more control of the front because usually I don't take control of the front. I'm more of like tacking the back kind of girl. So I was able to control my lips and pushes they work fast, but something I need to work on is the height. Because I think a couple times when I pushed across from my backhand side to her overhead side, it was too low. So she cut it off really easily. But other than that, I think my power control is getting better. My swing's getting smaller, the bird's getting a little bit faster. So I think that's good. I'm trying to think of good things because I need to be more, you know, optimistic. Half smash's overhead cross also works. My forehand smash straight also works. I feel like I was able to decipher some of her patterns. I don't think my performance was terrible, it's just that my physical wasn't able to support me on court today. And that has to do with heat. That's not an excuse because my opponent was also in the exact same environment I was in and was able to play properly and grind three games. So that's no excuse. The question I have is how come my off-court fitness is not translating onto my on-court? Because I feel like off-court fitness-wise, I'm not bad. Like running, skipping. Because when I train in Malaysia, Thailand, my off-court physical is not bad compared to the players there. I feel like I just need more on-court fitness, so just more footwork. But I'm wondering if there's a more efficient way to sort of improve on-court fitness. Instead of just doing like 20 quarters of footwork, 10 sets, or like doing drills for 30 minutes straight non-stop. After the second game, I could not. I was so hot, I had to ask Mike to get me a bag of ice because I just felt so overheated. And also, I was talking to some Canadians after my match and they said that I looked like a red tomato after the second game. And I was indeed a red tomato. I feel sick, honestly. I should have brought some Powerade with me onto the court. What? Why is it just dripping water? I'm getting completely soaked. Maybe it's a sign for me to go back in. That's pretty much the update. I feel not well right now, and I should probably get some rest, get some food, drink some water. I guess that's it for this video. Quarterfinal finish at the 2023 Pan of Individual Championships. Please like and subscribe. Please pray for me because I almost died today. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being so dramatic right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!